Hi guys, I'm Alex from OSA. Today we're going to be talking about changing filter socks. Nothing super crazy, but something that still needs to be done once or twice a week. So down here in the 220 sump, we have the two 7-inch filter socks. Each sump's going to be different, whether it's the rectangles, the 4-inch circle socks, mesh, they're all, all going to be the same way. So I like to pull them out, let the water kind of drain out. I always use a bucket, just so you don't make a mess. Turn it inside out. And then what we do with these is, here we send them out for dry cleaning, but at home I like turning them in inside out. You throw them in the washing machine, no soap, just uh, water, they come out clean. You can power wash them, whatever is easier for you. I just like doing the washing machine so I can just throw it in and walk away. So then you just take the two socks, put them back in, and then this is a good time if you had any carbon or max out, anything like that in the sock, you could change it out if it was at, around that 30 day mark, put it back in the sock. or in your media department if you have one. Another good thing to do while you're down here is check the skimmer cup, make sure it's not too full. You want to empty it before it gets to the top, obviously. And then everyone with the ATO, with the prism, knows it's the glass rod. Um, while I'm down here, I like to just grab a towel, grab the sensor and just wipe it down quick. And then you just put it back and you're good to go. All right, thanks for watching OSA TV, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Keep on reefing.